Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving into the world of Solana and specifically talking about the price action of the SLO coin. We're going to be talking about everything that's going on with our daily chart and of course our hourly chart to see exactly what is going to happen next in our opinion. We're also talking about our long-term price expectations and of course what is going to happen in our opinion on these smaller time frames as well. As we get into this video if you do find it useful and informative hit that like button we really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel guys or why not subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way let's dive right down into this daily chart and talk about what's been going on most recently and what our expectations are slightly longer term so guys we can obviously see a good surge to the upside from the low areas of december 2020 through to where we were peaking out up here in may of 2021 and we've already seen what happens here from this current performance of the high in may and the low of uh, what happened also so in May, right? So a quick correction here and the sideways trading that occurred. And of course, the current performance of that high and low area in May had the $185 price target associated. What we started to see here was a nice rise taking out that 4.236 extension and pulling back down. Okay, so very much in line with what our expectations were all the way back in uh, early June when we were talking about where things are likely to go with Solana. Now we've seen a pretty good steady rise to the upside overall and we've seen 21 and a half a thousand percent in gains from late December 2020 through to uh, highs that we've had in September 2021. A total of uh, 259 days uh, or thereabouts. We've seen a bit of a pullback recently in line with everything else that's been going on in the case of Bitcoin, really pulling us back down and the overall market just kind of having a bit of a cooling off. Obviously, the month of September has been relatively good for Solana, but obviously that was only the beginning and we started to see these pullbacks in the latter part. Now, this is very much aligned to what else is going on. We had a few pumps back to the upside, but it's actually held up incredibly well. We can see that the stochastic RSI is, of course, oversold and it's been hovering around here for a few days now, pretty much since uh, mid-September through to current so we are obviously looking to raise this up over time but i am expecting some more volatility to happen in the next like, week or so um, until we finally get things bottomed out and then we start to see a good surge for new all-time highs in the very near future here for solana now obviously this is uh, a point where to say that we you know we've seen the performance uh, back in may and uh, you know where things were in june etc and we obviously hit our first price target or the kind of expectations of where we thought solana was going to go um during this bull run now obviously we've taken Taken that out okay we had a slightly overextended version of that that's the 4.618 um, and obviously that came in at $185 you can look back at the channel and the uh, Solana videos and you'll notice that we were talking about this kind of price prediction way back in uh, in uh, early June right and um, but what what does this mean and where are we going next well we can obviously assume that we aren't going to have a huge push in the same way. The money might be just rolling around the market, but um, I still think that we are likely to see a bit of a push to the upside on the case of Solana. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to give us a bit of an idea as to where things may actually end up going, right? So we have uh, an interesting area just up here. This is our um, $542 target, okay? This comes in at a 4.236 based on the recent pullback. That being said, I am still expecting volatility that could see this thing pull back a little bit further um, and which could actually see us pull back um, you know to a point where we actually start to see a very good surge to the upside overall but right now this is actually predicting that we should see at least the kind of 1.618 coming in at $278 and pushing up maybe even into the $332 range $379 range and um, it's really going to be quite difficult at this point because this is a quite a small pullback in comparison to what we saw previously um, and as a result of that you know we already have had the kind of price expectations that we were kind of expecting to occur here and um, with significant profits kind of had at 21 and a half thousand percent and that being said there is of course a bit of a surge to the upside do i think that we are likely to go all the way to another 4.236 i think it's incredibly unlikely and um, but i would love to be proven wrong in that particular case and i'd like to see that you know a 542 dollar solana come in that being said though i do think that we are more than likely going to end up pushing up a little bit further and um, maybe up towards our 300 and uh, you know 30 $32 range, kind of halfway between our 1.618 and 2.618 area, uh, i.e. we kind of come up to a $278 wick up a little bit, and then that's kind of the top. Of course, I'd like to be wrong, 
Um, but as we progress through some of these areas, we'll start to figure out exactly what is going on and where things actually land eventually. But for now, um, my expectations are that it's focusing on one kind of price expectation once we get past the 618786 uh, area of the Fibonacci, right? So get past these areas here, $194. Let's get that closed candle up there. And then let's start talking about this uh, 270 uh, eight dollar price target okay um, so those are the kind of longer term kind of price predictions let's see how that one plays out and um, some interesting numbers could be on the horizon for solana now obviously because of the fact that we are oversold but we have a little bit of room to pull back if we need to and i'm still expecting volatility on the smaller time frames as a result of that when we jump down into our hourly chart uh, we get the opportunity to really take a note of what is going on most recently down here right and we can see what's going on in terms of these particular kind of patterns. Um, and uh, what we want to be looking for here in this is basically to see where we are likely to pull back to if we do have a pullback. Now, we are, of course, over um, sold right now. So we are looking to kind of push up a little bit. But the sentiment in the market just generally isn't there right now. Hence, that's why you see these huge pullbacks that we've been seeing, right, from the overbought area just up here all the way down into this lower area. More people are selling than uh, buying right now okay so that's why we're not really moving the needle to the upside uh, in a very good and constructive way and um, so right now things are kind of uh, you know a critical moment for Solana if you will where I think we're likely to see um, some more pullbacks in the next week or so as we close September go into October and um, so I am still expecting volatility I want to see us testing and finding support at $121 that would be a good area for us to find that support and to move to the upside overall um, as the market kind of finishes off this this corrective move now overall we can take a look at that kind of pullback that we've been having here and we can see that it's been quite steady right but uh, we need to acknowledge that we need to finish this one off and potentially pulling back slightly lower than we had previously so we're just kind of watching that to see how that one un unfolds a little bit and um, but overall these other micro movements in the space I still am expecting us to get go up and set new all-time highs um, and to get us up to these kind of expected price targets right of uh, about $414 based on the performance that we were having here. Now, I still think that that's actually, you know, unrealistic. I think we need to push that up a little bit because everything's changed a tad. Um, so we take a look at that high and uh, we take a look at the low area that we were previously setting over here. Um, but actually we now need to move this down to this area just here. Um, and again, this allows us to see those kind of areas that we were just talking about, right? Where we're talking about potentially moving up to that $542 range, right? So um, for that to actually occur and for us to move up that high um, under these kind of current circumstances, then we obviously need to acknowledge that that's another 300%, which is very much achievable for Solana. Um, but we obviously do need to see if uh, we actually finish this cor corrective wave first, pull down into these lower areas, then reset the FIB and see where that's going to then actually take us uh, on slightly longer term. So overall, we can acknowledge that there is a downward trend here. And this downward trend is, of course, a mixture of various different waves, um, and we can acknowledge that. And obviously, what we are looking for here is to finish this off by pulling down a little bit lower, finishing off the move, and then we should be looking up, moving to significant highs, moving further forward. So overall, I am expecting volatility on those smaller time frames. Um, we can see this kind of happening here, forming out as we bottom here for this uh, this corrective move and then we should be looking at new all-time highs in the very near future i do think that the month of october is going to be a pretty powerful month for many cryptocurrencies we have bitcoin kind of um targeting air about sixty seven thousand dollars or so um after it finishes its correction and then from there i think uh, most of the altcoins will also be moving up nicely and moving on uh, into uh, to really get in some steam behind them before we go into full alt season where we start to see many of these cryptocurrencies finally reaching their full potential and uh, before going into a crypto winter, if you will. I don't think we're anywhere near that yet. Um, we've obviously got a bit uh, more to kind of come yet. We obviously have um, a few more, uh, a couple more months or so before we start to actually talk about bear markets. Um, but once we are into that, then there's going to be some fantastic opportunities to again build some fantastic positions ahead of the 2025 run. And then again, I say it all the time, but uh, it's the bear market where you make your money and uh, the bull runs are just about managing your expectations and of course emotions uh, if you can do those things during the bull market you will obviously be able to exit your positions according to your strategy without letting the FUD affect you and of course in the bear market you build your positions ahead of what is to come in the bull run so overall everything on Solana is still working quite out quite nicely and uh, we should just be expecting volatility for the next week or maybe two weeks and then after that we will be off to the races with some new all-time highs in my opinion um, I'm going to leave it there guys hopefully you have found this video useful and informative if you have 
have hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new, why not subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.